Hollywood. That's good we Bally Hooli Hollywood. Good morning, Hollywood. And hello to Baltimore. My name is Matt Fritch, and I'm the chairman of the board of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. It is my pleasure to welcome you today to the Hollywood Chamber's Walk of Fame ceremony in honor of John Waters. The Hollywood Chamber has proudly administered the Walk of Fame on behalf of the city of Los Angeles for over 60 years. Right now, I'd like to welcome to the stage the Hollywood Chamber President and CEO, Steve Nissen, who will be our MC for today. Good morning, everyone. Hello. I'm Steve Nissen. I'm as excited as you are, and you are all clearly excited to be here this morning. <laughs> I'm excited to be the MC today as we welcome to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, who? John Waters! Before we start, Let's give a big shout out to our fans watching around the world on our live stream presented by our media partner, Variety. And a big thank you to our sponsor, Niagara, providing healthy and high quality hydration. For those of you who don't speak hydration, that's water. <laughs> Finally, uh, we're in front of, you know, this is broadcast or streamed around the world, but we're in a real place, Hollywood, on a real street, and we're in front of a, an amazing historic bookstore, Larry Edmonds. <laughs> which by far has the greatest collection of Hollywood books and scripts and memorabilia that any bookstore in the world has. And we'd like to thank Jeff Mantor and the whole team at Larry Edmonds Bookshop for their help today. The Hollywood Walk of Fame recognizes achievements in the categories of motion picture, radio, live theater, live performance, sports entertainment, recording, and television. Today, in the category of motion pictures, we honor John Waters with star number 2,763 on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now, John, before we invite you to the stage, let me tell all of you a little bit about our honoree. John was drawn to filmmaking at an early age, and as a teenager began making eight millimeter underground movies, influenced by famous directors like Jean-Luc Godard, Walt Disney, Andy Warhol, Russ Meyer, and Ingmar Bergman. Those are pretty good influences. Hailing from Baltimore, That's Baltimore, Maryland. Um, John has stayed incredibly connected to his hometown. In fact, all his 16 movies are set in what our honoree calls the hairdo capital of the world. <laughs> Wasted on me, but God bless those who can take advantage. Two historic theaters in Baltimore the Charles Theater, and the Senator Theater, where several of John's movies premiered, are live streaming the ceremony today. So hello, Baltimore. His movies include, wait for it, Pink Flamingos, I had to let a water and power truck drive by before I mentioned that one. Uh, female Trouble, Polyester, 
Hairspray. <laughs> Cry Baby. <laughs> Cereal Mom. <laughs> and A Dirty Shame, among others. Besides directing, John is also the author of 10 books. Some of us haven't read 10 books, right? <laughs> author of 10 books including Shock Value, Crack, Crackpot, Female Trouble. In 2022, he released his first novel, Liar Mouth, A Feel Bad Romance. His audiobooks for Mr. Karsick and Mr. Know-It-All were both nominated for Grammy Awards in the Best Spoken Word Album category, but that's not all. John has also released two music compilations, a John Waters Christmas and a date with John Waters. Uh, and I suggest that listening to these will give you some insight into John's psyche. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Yes, he is. I'm right. John joined an exclusive group in 2012 when he won the 16th Outfest Achievement Award, and we thank Outfest for their nominating John for this award today. <laughs> and <laughs> the first comprehensive exhibition dedicated to John's contributions to cinema entitled John Waters Pope of Trash and I'm sure you notice banners all over Hollywood advertising the Pope of Trash exhibition which, which is now on view at the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. So please help me welcome to the stage He's getting ready. <laughs> He's getting ready. Our newest Walk of Famer. You're just going to stand for a while. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's all. It's easy. <laughs> Our newest Walk of Famer, John Waters. I, I have this observation. John Waters has been a director so long, he does not take direction all that well. Before we hear from you, John, we have three friends of yours who would like to say a few words and out of respect for uh, certain labor disruptions going on, I can't recite um, all that I would like to recite about the three very accomplished speakers. So I'll just say our first speaker is a, is a frequent collaborator and lifelong friend of John's who has appeared in all of John's feature films Please help me welcome to the stage, Mink Stoll. Hello. I was a clueless 19-year-old when I met John, and he was an as yet unmustached 20. I was drawn to him immediately because he was so smart, so funny, so confident, and so totally unlike anyone that I had ever met. What I didn't realize, that he was totally unlike anyone that anybody had ever met. Or how lucky that meeting would be for me. A few months later, as John and I were walking around Baltimore putting up handmade flyers in phone booths and laundromats, to attract an audience for a church basement screening of Roman Candles, a film that needed three eight millimeter projectors and a tape recorder to show. I didn't know if anybody would come to see it, but they did. We sold it out and they loved it. As the films grew technologically better, the audiences grew with them. They grew in size, in diversity, 
and in devotion. Now, I don't know how John's brain works. I don't know how he comes up with characters like the egg lady who lives in a crib in her underwear, or serial mom who murders to avenge society's missteps. But I don't care. What I do know is that John is brilliant, he is decent, unfailingly decent, and he is the hardest working man in show business. I am proud of the work that I've done with John, but I have to tell you that I am far more proud of the fact that for well over half a century, he has been my friend. John, I love you to pieces, and I am so happy for you. Congratulations on this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ming Stoll. Our next speaker is known for his portraits of the most famous and infamous faces from the worlds of entertainment, art, sports, and music. Please help me welcome to the stage, Greg Gorman. It's so amazing here today to see so many fans of John's out here to greet a man that is so well deserving, more so than almost anyone else I've ever known. I met John over 40 years ago, but I met John through Divine. I was working with Divine on a project with Tab Hunter, and in the midst of this, Divi said to me, he says, you want to meet John Waters? And I said, well, hell yes, who doesn't want to meet John Waters? And we met and established a lifelong friendship. I can't tell you, just as Mink echoed, and I'm sure Ricky will, what a real friendship is until you know someone like John that's been my lifetime friend. When John comes to L.A. and he's not sponsored doing something, he stays with me often. Uh, for those of you that know me, I'm an early riser. I get out of bed at the crack of dawn, but I come downstairs at 6 o'clock, and there's John sitting in my, at my dining room table with his coffee, having already read a dozen newspapers. No wonder he has such great material for his work. And what surprises me the most is when you see John perform, he speaks so off the cuff, and for those of us that know him well, he does so many different stand-ups during the year, and every one different, and every one like he's just talking to you, like I'm trying to talk to you today, of just off the cuff. It's just so credible. And honestly, he's the most literate and politically incorrect person I know, and that's why I love him so much. I know no one that is more deserving of a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame than John Waters for his contributions to film and music and stand-up and everything that he's involved with. And please don't miss his show at the Academy Museum of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. It's outstanding. Thank you very much. I love you, John. Okay, one more. Thank you, Greg. Our final speaker today, well, actually, John Waters is our final speaker, but our other final speaker, the penultimate speaker today, is beloved talk show host and actress, the one, the only, Ricky Lake. Who would have thought, John? I don't know. Well, I thought the best way to celebrate this incredible day and honor is to read a letter I wrote to John after I finished a little movie called Hairspray and I was 18 years old. It also happens to be in the museum, the Academy Museum, but I'm going to read it for you today. Dear Mr. John Waters, just a quick note to say a few parting words. First of all, Thank you for giving me the greatest experience of my life. I realize you took a big chance with me, and for my sake, I'm sure as hell glad you did. I love you like a brother, father, director, friend, savior, even lover. Well, 
maybe not love her. However, you are the one person I will never forget. For the first time in my life, my peers treated me as an adult, a mature woman who discussed with other adults words like felching, plate jobs, and snowballing, to name a few. You've taught me many valuable lessons that I will carry with me throughout my long or short career, whatever the case may be. You've proven to me that whether I'm big, blonde, and beautiful, or small, brunette, and ugly, that it's what's on the inside that counts. Working on hairspray has made me feel better about myself. So what if one, I had to remain fat for two months straight, two, wear live roaches on my back, not to mention rats, three, be smashed in the face with a huge ball, four, be hoisted in the air like an immobile Mack truck, five, lick a TV screen as, lick, as if it was licking me back, and six, respond to the name Orca. So what, I'm me. I love you so much, but whatever you do, don't look at my legs without the benefit of nylons. All my love, Ricky, forever your Tracy. Well, that sums it up. John Waters, you deserve this. Congratulations to the iconic Mr. John Waters. All right, thank you, Ricky Lake. So, uh, as you may know, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce administers the Walk of Fame on behalf of the city of Los Angeles. Uh, this is a real place in the city that we call Hollywood, and it's represented by LA City Council Member Hugo Soto Martinez. And on his behalf, we present you, John Waters, with a resolution on behalf of the city of LA. All right, from Baltimore to Los Angeles and around the world, on behalf of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, I now declare today John Waters Day in Hollywood. The microphone is all yours. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you, God. Here I am, closer to the gutter than ever. <laughs> the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the first place I ever came to in Los Angeles after driving across the country with David Lockery. I got out of my vehicle in 1970 at Hollywood and Vine and darted across the street and got a jaywalking ticket. <laughs> the first one, and I never looked back. This store is at the perfect, this star is at the perfect location. Larry Edmonds Bookshop, I've been coming here for half a century. And I, 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 it's still my favorite spot on Hollywood Boulevard. I'd like to dedicate this wonderful honor to, you have the picture, we're going to put it down, to my parents, which is, we're going to, we have it? Yeah, and we're going to put that on the star when I do the pictures. Yeah, yeah, show it, please. Yeah, yeah. To my parents, Pat and John Waters, who, despite being uh, horrified by my early films and some of the late ones too, uh, encouraged me to continue because I guess they just thought, what else could I possibly do except be in show business? Uh, many of my family is here today, and I imagine they are as astonished as I am about this tribute, in a way. Um, 
my oldest friends too, many of whom have worked with me, but also were with me in my private life, in the good times and the bad, not just show business. Bob Shea at New Line, oh, Sarah Risher too, thank you for green lighting me all these times. Warner Brothers too, for distributing my films now, and the other studios that green lit me. Same to Tom Hansen, my original showbiz attorney who taught me the ropes, and now Jason Hendler also has taken over that duty. I salute Outfest, too, for sponsoring this event and thinking I was gay enough to receive it. <laughs> I get down on my knees for you, yes. And next year, maybe divine. All right. The Hollywood Walk of Fame, you're the best. And I hope the most desperate showbiz rejects walk over me here and feel some sort of, res of respect and strength. The drains on this magic boulevard will never wash away the gutter of my gratitude, <laughs> the flotsam of my film career, or the waste of water's appreciation. Thank you, Academy, for this major show you've been giving me. Thank you, Hollywood. This time, I've finally gone beyond the Valley of the Dolls. Thank you. Keep standing, keep standing because, yeah. <laughs> because it is time, I think it's time, don't you think it's time to unveil the star? Straight ahead for on the bench. 
not a rich white guy. Right above us? <laughs> Right straight ahead. And down in the front? Did you tilt it? Tilt it down. down so it doesn't reverse. Yeah, they got it. Yeah. Perfect. And John right next to her. And back on your right over here. And John right up, right above. John, what were their first names? Pat and John. John right down here. He got my obscene phone calls in the middle of the night. Never name your kid Junior. John right here. <laughs> John down the front. Gotcha, John. Oh, Can we do something? Mario, we need someone out there. Uh, yeah, yeah. All righty. So low with that one. I got it. Yes. I have lots of friends in Baltimore. Oh, yeah? Right in the John, can you touch the stock? Can you touch the stock and down? Take a knee or roommate's pose. Your choice. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How about you? Can you touch it? Can I do what? Touch it. Kneel or lay across. That's a fun one. There it is. There you go. And John, right straight ahead yeah. up top, up top. Looking up, looking up. Exactly. John, looking up, please. Over here, right in the front. There you go. And John, right here on the right. Can you get me who you need? Thank you. Yeah. Right here, John. And John, one more time, right up top on this bed. Love it. Thank you. You guys ready? Guys. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, maybe we're going to get this. You missed the last time. Sorry. Can we remove the, the carpet roll?
Okay. Museum, uh, front and center, please. Great. Thank you. Over here. Everybody looking right straight ahead. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here.